Hi guys, this is me, Rusty, 78609 in Central Texas, USA. This is Sunday, August the 14th, 2016. Good Sunday morning to you. And I had a viewer, subscriber, uh, ask about doing a video of how I lived in my RV. And I've done one of these months ago, so I thought, since I've had a lot of new subscribers in the past 60 days, I thought I'd let them see how I live in my RV. My RV is parked right now at my home base. That's an aluminum cover over the RV. And that right up there is my Wi-Fi. That's my TV antenna. And we come down. I got a wooden deck. It's like, uh, I think it's like 16 by 18. It's pretty big. Also notice that I have garbage pickup, garbage which I'm just, that's Matilda, the trash can. Anyway, I also have a Toyota Prius. I go camping in it also. I have been full-time full RVing for about 23 years. That just happens to be a Jayco J-Flight, 26-foot bunkhouse model. And it works quite well. I wished I hadn't got one that big, because it's just me. But I thought that my, I have two sons and a grandson. I thought they might come visit. And they did, two times in three years. So the next move is going to be to a much smaller RV. So anyway, I'll move on up here. And then we'll go inside. I'll give you a front look. I've got a... Uh, I've got three lots here in Central Texas, USA. And uh, anyway, that's the front of it. That's the propane tanks. And over here... Yeah, this area I've got, it's more private. There's a rabbit right there, if you can, you can see him right there. They really blend in. The reason they do that, the reason the rabbits do that, that's a female. And what she's doing, she's got a nest here somewhere, and she's trying to draw me away from the nest. And so what they'll do, I could walk up within four or five feet of her, I think, before she, but she's getting ready, isn't she? But she'll let me get closer because she wants to draw me off. Watch. And then she'll stop. There she goes. <laughs> that's a game they play, but it works pretty effective. But anyway, that's my RV. Notice I have a window RV. In addition, I have the rooftop RV, but the rooftop RV in, R in most RVs, in fact, all RVs, is just totally uh, inefficient. So I prefer a window RV. Now we'll go up on the deck and then go inside, and you can see how cluttered. Remember, I'm a 71-year-old man. I do have a washing machine, and I have a, what's called an umbrella dryer that fits in my, fits right in there like an umbrella on that deal, and you open it up, it's got all kind of lines to hang your clothes on, and it works perfect when I'm here, and uh, anyway, we'll go inside now, you'll see how, you know, prepare yourself for a shock, <laughs> shock and awe, so to speak. Anyway, this is the entrance right here. It's got a sofa that folds into a bed right there. Notice how cluttered everything is. But when you live in an RV, folks, that's you're going to end up like that sooner or later. So that little ice chest there also is my footstool. When I, that's my sitting spot there where those pillows are right here. And I take that ice chest and set it right down here, and that makes a good footrest. I'm too cheap to go buy a footrest. So there's the bedroom. It, it actually has uh, it's it came with a queen size bed but uh the queen the, the beds and rvs are what they are they're crap they're about four or five inches thick and they're designed to be slept on for two or three nights and then that's it so uh, i bought me i took the queen size out and bought me a twin super comfortable bed fine for me and anyway on each side of the bed there's some storage and then there's overhead storage so there's plenty of storage for me and uh of course, there's the there's the little window AC. That's a, about I think that's an 8,000 BTU, maybe six. I'm not sure, six or eight. But in 102 heat here in Central Texas, it'll cool the whole RV. And up here is something that every RVer should have. You see those little holders there that kind of screw into the wall. I got those at Lowe's, and and believe me, they are a godsend for hanging stuff up in an RV. Uh, this right here. This uh, is a curtain that, that slides across here and, and, and gives this a, a separate 
bedroom if you need it, which I apparently don't. My boys haven't come to visit. Anyway, that's the dining room table. There's some sh a storage above it. I'll move up here a little bit. And uh, if they come, some RVs come with a TV. I told them I didn't want one. And I bought my own and put it on a little stand. And you can buy those little tracks that mount on the wall. And you, they're, they're, you can move it up or down depending on what size TV you have. And anyway, there's some more cabinets up here. That's where I put my canned goods. There's a VCR, DVD, and all that stuff. And, you know, there's the clutter on the table. And we'll turn around here. Kitchen sink, got a double sink, and I love that high-rise uh, deal like that. If you ever get an RV, be sure it's got the high-rise. Also, I made a mistake here. This is a plastic sink. Uh, it, if, you know, if, you're, if you have the opportunity to get a stainless steel sink, much better. You know, they, they are, are, if they have them, porcelain, but not plastic. I didn't, I didn't notice it. I just made one of those mistakes. And be that as it may, it's got a three-burner stove and an oven and there's some more storage underneath and uh, I, I got the I didn't get carpet on the floor intentionally uh, I just put these little mats down and you know every oh after every two or three years I just throw them away and get some more I mean I, I clean them every now and then but after a while I just throw them away and get some more and uh, anyway of course you got a you know you got a vent hood microwave and one of the things you do want, if you can get it, uh, some of the smaller RVs don't have it, even have it as an option, but you need a two-door fridge. Uh, that really is helpful. And also, if you, if you are aware enough and can get it, you want ducted AC. You see these right here? This is, this, there is an AC on the roof above this. This is the vent, okay? And, uh, but up here, it's got little ducts that run up to here and there's a duct in every area of the RV or two and uh, it makes it much nicer for cooling the RV and heating the RV. If you ever use your RV, your furnace in your RV, just remember that the furnace really uses a lot of propane and uh, so be ready to go get some propane. Anyway, this is the bunk bed area back here. You probably can't see the bottom one too well, but the top one you can see I got it cluttered. That's my printer and a lot of bedding junk that I had in case somebody came to visit, which they never did, which is not unusual. Who would want to visit a 71-year-old opinionated old man? And this is the bathroom. Of course, it's okay, adequate for me. Uh, got a nice medicine cabinet, uh, got a single sink, works okay. Uh, got some storage underneath, plenty of storage actually, for me. And this is the shower. You know, you got a place to hang your towel, and there's the shower head. You can get a different shower head if you don't like that. And one of the things I like about this RV is it's got a skylight right above the shower. Even though that doesn't open, uh, it does light it up and help. And over here, still in the bathroom, uh, you've got a, a power vent, okay? You know, that opens, and then it's got a, a little fan, a 12-volt fan. And that's a rooster that I killed in Victoria, Texas, when I lived out in the country there. He tried to spur me, and he died of lead poison. I killed him. And at that time, I was dating a girl, and she said, well, you know, we ought to, we ought to eat him. Okay. I said, I'll get him ready. And uh, I did. I said, but it's going to be tough. Oh, I won't either. Chicken's chicken's chicken. You hear me? Some people know everything. So anyway, guess what? She did cook it. She fried it. And guess what? It was like eating leather. So, having said that, this is Rusty's RV right here, babe. Rusty 78609. I've been full time RVing for 23 years. This is my fourth RV. I like RV, and I do. The only thing that I need to do, I just need to get a, one that is much easier to pull. I was looking at even a Class C, but I'm looking at now. The possibility of a, a casita, the little 13-footer, because I can actually make that do. I've lived in a 17-footer before. In fact, I lived in a 17-footer for around 12 years. It's perfect for me. So having said all that, folks, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, uh, showing you his RV. And I hope that 
is an answer to the response. You know, there was a lady that commented that my music in the background was a distraction. And she's probably correct. So from now on, I'll try to remember to turn the music off when I am doing these videos. So anyway, having said that, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye.